Hello everyone, this is Independent Conservative. I'm Ryan Bolin. Thank you all for joining me once again. So Stephen A. Smith blasted Joe Biden in a video that was posted some weeks ago in reference to Joe Biden. And I know you guys, I know you have known this. Um, is seen eating, <laughs> eating fried chicken with a black family. Now, you already know what it, you already, you already know, you already know, you already know. I'm just going to read a portion of this, of this article, and I'm going to get right into this. So let's, yeah, let's get into it. This is um, an old um, situation, uh, in, in no pun intended, in reference to Biden. Uh, but as the article says, this incident is a few weeks old. And I wanted to speak on it before, but just didn't get a chance to. So let's get right into this. ESPN personality Stephen A. Smith is blasting President Joe Biden for engaging in, quote, racial troops tropes rather by having a fried chicken dinner with a black family in North Carolina while on the campaign trail. Smith is referencing a YouTube video posted weeks ago by the Biden campaign in which he and North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper picked up fried chicken from a chain restaurant called Cookout. After getting the food, Biden traveled to the home of Eric Fitz and his two sons, where the four share a fried chicken dinner. Stephen A. Smith was troubled by the video. Uh, and that's really all I want to read right there because it's pretty straightforward. I have seen the video. Yeah, I have seen the video. And I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen it by now. As I said, it's a few weeks old. Uh, it, it's, this is obvious. Obvious that the Democrats are pandering to black people. But here's the problem with this pandering. This pandering clearly is as the article says a racial trope it, it, it's 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 if that had been trump come on let's be realistic now regardless of how people feel about trump regardless of how how mean-spirited he he may be or how he talks about people look regardless if that had been trump my god my god my god my god you know it would have been you know the kkk all over again it would have been the KKK all over again. But this just goes to show you what Democrats think about black people in America. Wasn't it during the 2016 campaign? And I shared this, this, this pandering by the Democrats. I shared this very incident or this very action, if you will, to one of my coworkers some years ago. I says, well, uh, and, and referring to the Democratic Party, I says, well, they pander to black people all the time. You know, and this had to do with uh, Hillary Clinton when she was campaigning. I forget what show she was on. I don't know if it was TMZ or whatever, but whatever show she was on, some of you may have seen this, seen this video. She's sitting and she's being interviewed by this black woman. And uh, and I forget all the, 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 the uh, tidbits of the conversation. But Hillary Clinton reaches in her pocketbook or reaches into some type of pouch and pulls out a a bottle of hot sauce and i remember saying something hillary clinton saying something along the line of i always bring my hot sauce with me i always be my you a freaking lie now anyone that's black okay like blackity black down homegrown black in the hood black in the ghetto black in the inner city blackity black 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 you know what that's about you know what that's about and my problem with that pandering type is that it limits blacks to hot sauce and fried chicken. It almost smacks in the face of how racist whites view blacks many, 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 many years ago, like in the early 1900s and so forth. And even, you know, yeah, like in the early 1900s, even in the 18, uh, uh, latter portion of the 1800s, uh, early 1900s, when they would they would pass out pamphlets of black people where they would be uh, black people eating watermelon. Uh, what, what, what isn't that a racial trope? Black people eating watermelon, which I don't I don't know where that comes from. I mean I mean I I like hot watermelon, but I mean I'm not crazy about it. It's not my favorite fruit. You know I don't know where that comes from, but but but, but that's what you know. And fried chicken. So that's a racial trope. Trope rather, I keep saying true. That's a racial trope. Fried chicken is a racial trope because a lot of black people 
like fried chicken. That's why you see, that's why you see a lot. And let's be realistic. That's why you see a lot of fried chicken restaurants in black neighborhoods. That's why you see a, a lot of, uh, and not all of them, but that's why I just put it like this. That's why you see a significant number of uh, restaurants owned by black people that, that, that fried chicken, you know, you know, fried chicken restaurants or restaurants dealing with food, the fried chicken ribs and so forth. You see, a, you, you see a significant number of those kind of restaurants in black neighborhoods, particularly in the inner city. Okay. Uh, is there some truth to that? Yeah, I would say, I would say, but it's clearly, it's clearly a racial trope. It's clearly a racial trope and it limits black people to just fried chicken. That's all. That's how you think of us as black people. Hillary Clinton, that's how you think of us as black people by pulling out some hot sauce. Biden, that's how you think about black people by eating some fried chicken. And I saw the video and Biden, that man looked like he didn't even know where he was at. He was like, well, I want to run out of and I'm going to eat this fried chicken. I couldn't even understand nothing the man was saying when he was attempting to try to eat the fried chicken. And <laughs> as Stephen A. Smith said in, <laughs> in his commentary on this, he's like, and I'm paraphrasing his words, Stephen A. Smith's words, he's like, man, what you doing eating some fried chicken? You 81 years old, you eating fried chicken. Fried chicken is, you know, I'm, I'm just putting some words in it. Fried chicken is full of grease and so forth. What you doing eating fried chicken, bro? Your brain is already grease. That's my words, okay? Your brain is already grease. Why are you eating fried chicken? You need to be eating something more healthy rather than fried chicken. But no, the Democrats pander to, to, to uh, uh, black people all the time. They have gotten so desperate that they have to do stuff like this. Maybe I shouldn't say desperate. Maybe I shouldn't say desperate because in 2016, I don't think they was that desperate. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. When Hillary Clinton decided to pull out a thing of hot sauce. Another incident of black people, uh, of, of the Democrats pandering to black people. Is during that time where they were trying to get black people to be, you know. OK. I did a video on this years ago. I think the first year that I started doing this YouTube channel, right? There was a literal music video where I don't want to say the, the, the uh, title because this video might get taken down. See, I don't have that clout, so I can't just say anything. Just about, right? And it was literally a music video trying to get black people to get. And then I think there was a, a, I think there was a commercial too trying to get black people and then I think Dolly Parton <laughs> sung a song. <laughs> and somebody could argue, well, you know, she was trying to say that towards everybody. But I really was, was towards blacks mostly, in my opinion, because blacks were the ones that was really trying to, you know, trying to shun the whole idea of they were trying to shun that. Because of certain situations and incidents that happened many decades ago, okay? Uh, yeah, and they was like, no, 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 no. You're not going to put anything in me that I don't want in me, okay? And so, the Democrats, who were the ones really pushing this whole thing, they were, that's not my opinion, that's a fact. They were the ones really pushing this, okay? They had to find some way to pander to black people. Make a music video where you got thug guys dancing around. I can't I remember. The, I, I don't want to say the name of the video. <laughs> it was VAX that thing up. I hope it don't get to VAX that thing up. Literally. <laughs> I saw the video. Corniest video in the world, right? Corniest video in the world. This is what you have to this is what, this is how they think about black people. That was clearly a Democrat produced or Democrat toned, a toned video. This is how you think about us? I'm just saying, folks, that's the way the Democratic Party thinks about black people. And yet, as blacks, we, we're, we're yik and yak. We're crowd. We're boo-hoo. Man, I'm, tired. I'm seeing so many videos about black people boo-hooing and getting upset with the Democrats and how the Biden administration is letting all these illegals come in here and they're taking our jobs and they're causing problems for us and they're assaulting police officers and this, that, and this, that, and the other. And I'm semi-encouraged, but at the same time, I'm like, give it time. We still got, what, all the summer 
in all of fall till November 2024. There's plenty of time for the Democratic Party to produce all kinds of brainwashing and propaganda to get blacks back on the plantation. And this chicken commercial or chicken ad or whatever is just one classic example. Now, I'm going to be real with you. As a black person, if you fall for that, if you fall for that situation, if you fall for that commercial, if you fall for that video and you feel like, man, Biden really cares about uh, black people by eating a chicken wing dinner with a chicken dinner, fried chicken dinner, with, he really cares. If you fall for that, you deserve everything you get. And I'm saying that here on this video. I'm not taking it back and I'm not apologizing. I mean what I say. You deserve everything you get if you vote for them for that, for that reason. Now, somebody could argue, well, I saw the video and it's just really about about being, you know, uh, 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 being comfortable around people and being at home, sitting at home and eating a nice dinner with your family. You can eat a nice dinner with your family and it don't have to be fried chicken. The fried chicken thing is a trope, folks. That's a trope. Black people like fried chicken, so let me hone in on fried chicken. Now, somebody may argue this. I know somebody probably thinking about this. The Trump tennis shoes. I don't know much about that, so I'm not going to speak on it at, at, uh, at uh, length. Because I don't know nothing about it. I don't know if Trump, the Donald Trump or, or some kind of organization uh, made those tennis shoes or what. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But I would guess if that's the case, I guess they figured, you know what? Nothing else seems to be working with black people. When we say we're going to provide more jobs, that don't seem to be the right kind of pandering. I'm just making up something. I'm not saying this is what it is. So why don't we just create, I'm just saying for, for, for in theory, why don't we just create a pair of shoes, you know, because they like black, they, black people like shoes. Me personally, I don't, I don't give a rat's tail about them. I'm not into this. I never was. I was never into shoes. I was never into cars. I was never into any of that stuff. You know, never was into it. But maybe perhaps that's what it was. Okay, you could say they were pandering. Okay. Well, if it seems to work with Democrats, why don't the doggone Republicans do it? It seems to work with Democrats every single time. And as blacks, we fall for it. So why not, if, if this is the case, why not the Trump campaign? Why not them pander to us? By creating a pair of tennis shoes and selling the black people saying, I'm on your side. I'm just saying, if pandering works for the Democrats, why don't the, why don't the Republicans do it? Republicans talking all the sitting behind the scenes, not being involved in pop culture. And that's one of the reasons why Republicans fail with the black community, because they are not involved in pop culture. They don't understand culture. The Dem I'll give this to the Democrats. They understand culture and they're involved in culture. And that's why things like pandering to, to black people with these chicken wing commercials tends to work. I have this funny feeling it's probably going to work, probably going to work. They got plenty of time. And if it do work. Whoever votes for them, I'm telling you up front, I'm telling you up front, if you vote for them because of that, you deserve what you get. You mean to tell me you that, le you that limited in your brain that you're going to vote for, the Dem for, for Biden to reelect him because he sat with a black family eating some fried chicken wings, some fried chicken? That, you, you, that, you that limited in your head? You deserve what you get. You deserve what you get. <laughs> but you know even at that but you know even look man at the end of the day it's pandering it's pandering but the end of video on this front with the whole idea of the trump tennis shoes sneakers rather the trump sneakers rather tennis shoes but sneakers why not right if in fact that's pandering why not why not the democrats been doing it for decades why not let the Republicans try it? You said that's racist. That's racist. Well, call it what you want to call it. It works for the Democrats with the fried chicken. Why not try the tennis shoe? That's a new one on me. The tennis shoe is a new one on me. The fried chicken and the fried chicken, that's old. That's old. The hot sauce, that's old. Tennis sneakers, 
That's new. I ain't never heard of any any ads, with, you know, or any commercials or any type of push towards the black community and trying to get their votes by creating tennis shoes. I never heard of it. If if if, there, if it did happen, let me know in the comment box because I don't know anything about it. But yeah, hey, yeah, but that's it. You know, yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy, but it's typical Democrat procedures. It's typical Democrat campaigns, pandering to black people. That's how they see us, people. That's how the Democrats see you. Uh, yeah, but what do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless y'all. See you again.